Please welcome Mario. Let's go! <clears throat> Thank you all for joining us tonight. <laughs> Guys, Bowser, keep it up going. Keep going hosting for us, huh? He is the... Uh, the number one most wanted terrorist in the Mushroom Kingdom, and also my golf buddy. It's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys have noticed the literal tons of Trump allegories that have been thrown at you via Bowser tonight, but uh, him and Trump do have one difference, and that he did successfully lock her up at one point. So, they only go downhill from here, folks. I, uh, Seriously, so over my career, Bowser and I, we fought a bunch of times. I've thrown him into uh, to bottomless pits, bombs, lava, and even once a black hole. Uh, but the only thing that will truly end his reign of evil is the most unstoppable force in the universe, uh, diabetes. <laughs> oh, really? That's the one you guys are at? <laughs> Bowser and I are both actually in love. We're both in love with the same, uh, same woman. But uh, as a plumber, only one of us is laying pipe all over town. Hey, what's up? Yeah. 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 I don't really have a lot going on, guys. I, uh... Speaking of uh, the love of my life, Princess Peach is here. Oh my god. The original Gone Girl. Uh, my favorite uh, cock tease. I'm sorry, cake tease. My favorite cake tease. I tried writing jokes about a white woman being unfit to lead a country, but somehow I magically became a contributor to Breitbart.com. So, still gonna work on that. Oh, really? <laughs> All right. What can I say about a woman I've been dating for 32 years and only kissed me like four times? What can I say about her besides the C word? What can I say? Ugh. Of course, um, this is true, uh, this is a little bit of a deep cut. One time I got kidnapped uh, and Princess Peach rescued me. This is true, it's called Super Princess Peach. Uh, and she saved me using the power of a parasol and her uncontrollable emotions. So, really one step forward, two steps back. Uh, speaking of, uh, did you guys see that communists just like take stage and demand time? Like we get it, dude, Bernie would have won, let it go. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, Mike Tyson is here for some reason, huh? Huh? Punch Out uh, is a fun game, a terrible way of dealing with your wife, just a heads up. Uh, there are uh, two strategies to beating Mike Tyson and Punch Out. I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, you either wait uh, a minute, 30 seconds, and he tires himself out, or you give it about six years and Don King bankrupts him. Those are the two, the two viable strategies. And it's not a big Don King crowd? Right, okay. Now, I don't know uh, what was more uh, terrible on stage, if it was Mike Tyson's lisp or Laura's fake British accent, but uh, speaking of uh, Laura, uh, by round of applause, how many people here did Laura help through puberty? A couple, a couple of honest souls. Yeah, there's not enough showers to get that feeling washed off of you, just a heads up. Uh, for those of you that don't know, Laura Croft is a Tomb Raider that deals with a cult, el el excuse me, a cult element that I want to have sex with. <laughs> but just a heads up, uh, I liked it better the original time when it was called Indiana Jones. <laughs> a very sexual Mario. Uh, I will say this, that the franchise has gotten away from uh, being uh, all about your boobs, you know? Like it used to be, it used to be uh, Angelina Jolie and now like Bowser said, it's Alicia Vikander. And that's uh, my favorite example of uh, quality over quantity. So, yeah, that was a reach, I'll agree. Uh, uh, Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong, my first bad guy, my first, uh, first dude I ever tumbled with. Uh, the first time we met, he kidnapped a young woman and kept her against her will. Uh, of course, that was 36 years ago, so now he's considered a viable candidate for Senate by the Republican Party. <laughs> This is true, Donkey Kong was actually supposed to be in Super Mario Odyssey, this is true. Um, and then all these rumors about Diddy Kong came out. So in nine days, we replaced him with Christopher Plummer. So. <laughs> I've always wanted to say this to a white person and Charlize Theron isn't here, so go back to Africa. 
I'm just saying, the DK rap from Donkey Kong 64 did more damage to the black community than crack cocaine. So... <laughs> Link. My man. Everyone else here I don't respect, but you made some good games. I'm not sure if my favorite is the one where you have to find the Triforce, rescue Zelda, and defeat Ganondorf. Or the one where you have to find the Triforce, rescue Zelda, and defeat Ganondorf. But I will say I love the one where you have to find the Triforce, rescue Zelda, and defeat Ganondorf. I think we can all agree after tonight that we get it why Link stays quiet in his own game. So, I don't know. I will say, I mean, I do, um, I will say that Link has his own style uh, when it comes to dress. I will say that he kind of does his own thing. And I don't know if I could describe it, but if I had to, I'd say it's probably like Brett Michaels' loser son who's really into archery. <laughs> if I had to nail it down. Mm. Okay. Now I'm gonna talk about uh, the elephant in the room, which is the goof troop looking motherfucker on the end of the aisle. <laughs> which one? <laughs> that feels racial, sir. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> finally, we get to Sonic. Sonic. Sonic and I used to hate each other. We literally were at war with each other. Uh, the only casualty of those console wars was the quality of your games. <laughs> it was always a real case of follow the leader uh, with our stuff. Like, I got a game, you got a game, you have Shadow the Hedgehog. I have Wario, who is either my cousin or a guy trying to single white female me. <laughs> I went to space, you went to space. Uh, you became a werewolf and I kept making good games. <laughs> Who sees a game about a fast road and says to themselves, I like it, but what if we also made him a werewolf? <laughs> Probably the same people who thought Sega CDs were a good thing. Guys, these are deep cuts, so get ready for it. Here is a list of the top three games Sega has ever put out sales-wise. Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, which I think we can all agree is a pretty good game. Uh, Sonic Dash, which is a free iPhone game that is really bad and Mario Sonic at the Olympic Games. <laughs> Dude, you have fallen on times so hard that they literally put out a game where I can beat you at track. <laughs> and I get winded at the buffet, <laughs> so. Let me just do a quick uh, audience poll. Guys, clap for me if you've played a Mario game in the last year. <laughs> All right, now. Clap for me if you've played a Sonic game in the last year. <laughs> Suck a dick, hedgehog. Guys, I know we've had a lot of fun tonight. I know we've all really enjoyed ourselves. Um, so I want to take this moment to invite you guys to a party at my place later. Um, that said, only four people can come. And it will destroy every friendship you've ever had. So thank you. <laughs>